boom hey yo what's going on everybody welcome back to another episode of mid alabama bass tv and i haven't told you guys yet but if you follow me on instagram you probably already know that dad just got a brand new truck that's going to be basically towing our boat around if you don't already follow me on instagram go check me out mid alabama bass and tv i'll put the link down below and i'll put it right here so you guys can go check it out but anyways Basically, we are going to Avid Speed and Performance, and we are fixing to get a tune put in the truck. Now, what this basically does is it gets better fuel mileage on your truck, it adds more horsepower to the truck, and it puts it into V8 mode instead of like four cylinder. So, the truck that we're in right now is the SCA Black Widow Edition Z71. What year is it? 18, 2018 Chevrolet 1500 so basically it has um, while you're driving it has a four cylinder mode and a V8 mode and it switches depending on your speed I'm pretty sure so basically the higher speed you go into it'll change the V8 but it's just bad so what we're gonna go do is put a tune in it it's gonna give us better fuel mileage and it's gonna give us more horsepower make the truck faster and whenever you press the pedal basically it gets a little bit faster but we'll go more into it whenever we get there and I'll give you more details on it and everything but I'll see you guys there just here's the main body of the truck if my YouTube friends haven't seen this yet but just saying if you are uh, one of my subscribers go ahead and go check out my Instagram too and you can basically see most posts before I actually even post on YouTube so you get actually a little bit of an insider on everything, so go check that out. It's a pretty bad truck, not gonna lie. Again, we have to do a few minor things to it, get new exhaust tips on it and stuff like that, but she's looking pretty sweet so far. So while we're here waiting, I guess I'll go a little bit more in depth with the truck. Like I said, whenever we stop by SCA and get like everything put on it, like what we need, um, then I'll go over the like full details of the truck but I'll give you just, you know, the little minor details that make this truck a little bit unique and uh, why I love it so much. Now, one of the details I can't show you because it only works at night, but it's actually a pretty cool, neat little thing. I'll actually probably show it tonight so you guys can see it. But anyways, uh, let me, let's just dive into the truck real quick. So here we're gonna open the door and as you can see, oh yes. So this is the like research uh, foot pedestals I like them because it hides away so it can be low profile whenever the door is shut and whenever it comes out it's easy to step into a lifted truck as you can see but if you're a man you don't need steps but you know my dad likes to have that step anyways so here we are on the inside and uh, I'm gonna turn this off before I get copyrighted anyways so here we are on the inside so boom we have a touchscreen and here's what I love about this my dad you know whatever he has his own temperature he can pick whatever I have my own side where I can choose what temperature I want all right let me just shut the door so I'm gonna let all the air out so uh, custom dash uh, black widow dash it, it's a black widow basically it's made by SCA so it, it's a black widow edition truck so you're gonna get all the good stuff like that I don't know why it's blinking on the screen it's not blinking that's weird it's not blinking right here anyways so yeah uh, leather interior uh, black widow on the seats pretty nice kind of a mess in here right now I'm actually probably gonna end up detailing the truck and everything but I mean yeah I mean there's nothing extremely special about the inside other than the uh, black widow I guess uh, I don't know what you call that. So as you can see right there, Black Widow, Silverado, boom bam. We also have Black Widow rims and uh, inside of there too, whenever you walk in, the inside interior lights will turn red. Uh, it's pretty cool. So also have custom back bumper as well as the front. So it's not plastic anymore now it's solid and yeah uh, we'll just have a few little things that'll be fixed just for little details that you have to actually go up to and look but it's a really clean truck honestly really happy with it and uh, also excited to start working with SCA a lot more my dad's back there hiding from me hold up dad you gotta show him the vans 
He's rocking, dad's rocking the vans today. Old school van. Did you show him the spider on the door? Yeah, well, I showed him, yeah, I showed him black on a spider, but I can't show him this until nighttime. Look, I don't know if they can see that. Oh, you see that? Yeah, I can see it. That's pretty cool. I'll show y'all that at night too. So it comes down and it's a big black widow on the other door and this door right here. Not on these, but on the front doors, passenger side and driver's side. All right guys, so I'm in the back of the truck. And again, we are at Avid Speed and Performance. Uh, basically the guy that's helping us out, his name's Blake. And um, he just, I don't know, he done his computer things with uh, the truck. <laughs> I really don't know what he did, but whatever he did, I hope it worked. I know it's probably gonna work and the truck's gonna work a lot better. It's gonna get better gas mileage, better horsepower, speed, all that good stuff. So, we're fixing up for a test drive, make sure everything's tuned in right. He's gonna be talking, explaining what's going on. Yeah, what he said. <laughs> yeah, I can see all the little test hits y'all do around here. Oh yeah, it gets a little rowdy here and there. Then there's a diesel shop right there and they like to do it too. They get in trouble, it's hilarious, man. We all do it, but they'll do it at like 10 in the morning. <laughs> so companies will start calling them and everything. And he don't care a bit. So what are we doing right now? Uh, right now we're going, we're doing a data log. We're gonna go test it out. We've already uh, put a base file in it, made our changes for the transmission, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit of spark fuel, try to get a little bit of power out of it, a little bit of tar response. Uh, so basically we're just doing a data log of it. Now to watch everything and get it all fine tuned out for this particular truck, get the speedometer right, stuff like that. Uh, so we're just gonna be watching a whole bunch of different data and drive a few different ways and see how she acts. Yep. Oh yeah. I live here in Trussell, so we meet right here at the Staples. Off. So I had an 01 Silverado that had a little 4.8 liter with a heap of nitrous on it. And uh, I actually still have the truck now, but it's now twin turbo. But uh, but I used to run around out here, play around a little bit. Yeah, Dad, you got a lot of history here, don't you? Yep. <laughs> Two different cars had a no, 93 titanium silver. GT. Yep. in a ditch to be a good video, I swear. No. <laughs> no Ready? ditch. Do it. Get off right here and loop around. Oh, uh, yep, stay straight right here. Oh, it was great. It was great. It was great. Out it was fun. Out running the police. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> tell them about your old stories you got there. <laughs> <laughs> I got a ton of them. Dang. What kind of car did you have? 93 Mustang GT 5.0. Bam, there's a picture for you guys. I'm going to edit that in. <laughs> and I, I, done, I done forgot what you just said, but I'll figure it out. And I had a 1987 Mazda RX-7. What you just fancy? Then I had my original car, which was an '81 Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme, with a small block 350. Y'all was big about cars. I don't know. Now it's all about freaking gay squatted trucks. Oh gosh! Please make sure that's in your video. <laughs> it is. We're gonna put that in. I I can't stand it. I'm Blake Finder, and I approve of no squatted trucks. No, I'm telling you, I seen dude, this I one. I can't stand it. I seen it this one. It looks like a bulldog pooping in the yard. Oh my gosh, it's awful, dude. I I'm trying to find the, a picture from the street races. I literally seen this one post. This guy said, "Hey, could your dad not afford the other half of the lifts?" <laughs> <laughs> dude, people are mean to him, but I don't really. I don't blame him. It's it's ridiculous. I don't get it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and 
they got to be sticking 40 feet outside. The That's right. Yeah, either that. Oh, yeah, you got to get some American forces. That's the other wheel. Isn't that what it is? And cheap know. Hiata tires to go on them. Well, of course. Well, they end up running over shit and everything else. Excuse my language. I don't know what we're supposed to not say on here. <laughs> it's fine. I don't even care. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, I'm good at editing, but I don't know. I might leave it we in. We can have a beep for that one. Yeah, you can put a beep in it. I'll put one. <laughs> <laughs> Just put a squat life picture truck, like, over my mouth. Where I'm just <laughs> came out, so cover it with that. You can get him there. You can get two of them in. I'm just gonna. We put, almost just got an island. I'm gonna pull. Yes, up. We did. I <laughs> swear, <laughs> we're gonna pull up the ugliest pictures of the ugliest squatted trucks. Oh, that's not hard. No. Yeah. If we sit here about another five minutes, we're gonna drive by. One. Guarantee. I don't understand. Brand new Zuzu Rodeo. He goes, let's slam it. All right, we ripped the whole suspension out of it. <laughs> in, a park, in a freaking rodeo? In a Isuzu rodeo. We oh called it the gosh. Lodeo. I mean, it was, The Lodeo? The Lodeo. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, literally ripped the suspension out of it in, in our friend's front yard. Oh, my God. That was my generation. Was many See, I was in the edge years. of that generation. I was in the edge of it to where it was like kind of cool but changing. I still appreciate them, but most of them were already, the fiberglass is already cracked and the wheels are falling off of them by the time I knew what they were. So I kind of missed the era. You didn't miss it because it will come back. I didn't. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you. the mullets. Mullets, the are, mullets coming are coming back. back. That's true. I'm telling That's you. That's true. I swear, I, I can't so tell you. I can't fit on my computer, guys. I can't, I can't, I can't. I had one for a little while. There's probably pictures of it. I can't tell you how many people, I don't know why, especially fishing people, it's they mainly like it's There's mainly fishing people. The mullet and the stash. The stash. I like the stash, honestly. That's pretty <laughs> slick, man. It's pretty manly to have you a big old bad <laughs> mustache. <laughs> Alright guys, so again we stopped by Avid Speed and Performance. You guys really need to check them out if you ever need anything to do with your vehicle, like horsepower, tuning your truck and stuff like that, basically. Yeah, yeah. And much. uh basically Blake took care of us, done really good service for us. And I will actually let him give you a phone number. All right. Uh, phone number is 205-514-0385. And if you guys do want to check him out, uh, you have a website, right? Uh, I have a website. But it's pretty much never used. Uh, Facebook-wise, we've got okay. uh, just look up Avid Speed. You should be able to find us right there. All right. I'll actually link everything below. You guys can go check that out. And, yeah, so you guys can go check them out and just get more information on them, see what more they do. And, yeah, we thank you very much and appreciate oh, it yeah, for what you've done with you. our truck. And we'll see you.